Hello and welcome to another one of my renovation recaps. As you can see, I have a different background backdrop. I'm testing things out. Um, I think this one might be a little bright, so I don't know. If I look washed out and like a vampire, then I will probably not do this again. So this week was all about painting. I painted a foyer and a playroom that will be converting to a bedroom. Uh, the foyer, you'll see footage from actually sev maybe a month, month ago, month and a half. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, I started the process of painting, um, and you'll see there was a couple steps to just get the first coat of paint on, and um, I hated it. It, I just I want a gray, like a medium gray color, and it had these weird green undertones. So I didn't like that. And then I thought, well, maybe a lighter gray would work good. Maybe I would like that. I don't know. I've been used to the foyer being dark. And I painted it light gray, and I hated that too. So the third time's a charm. So I painted it a color in between, and I love it, and it's staying. As far as the playroom goes, uh, it was pretty simple. Um, you'll see next week what I'm doing to that row. And I just need to needed to freshen up the paint. Uh, I happen to have a gallon of the original paint um, still in my garage, so I, I broke that out and, and just gave it a, a fresh coat. So if you're like me and you have some old paint stored up that you were thinking that you would use at a later date or uh, could get rid of somehow, I would suggest maybe just trashing it um, or taking it to the landfill to be properly disposed of. I shouldn't just say throw it away. Um, because paints these days are great. They pretty much most of them that they sell are z zero VOCs so they're not going to have the harsh chemicals that are like bad for you to smell and uh, they're not going to be as stinky because I will tell you that the the paint that I painted in the playroom that was my old paint smelled for several days, I had a door closed, windows open, fan running, and it took a couple days for that smell to go away. It was really nasty. So, if you're holding on to old paint, you might just want to get rid of it. It's better to just buy some new stuff that's much better. So, that's my tip for this week, and I hope you enjoy me painting, and I will see you next time. Bye! Okay, so when I went back to find the footage of this, it was actually back in January. So it's been several months that I started. And this was, um, that's what it looked like when I started. It was like navy, blue, and it, there was like a sheen to it. And the ceiling was also navy too. So the first step we had to do was take sandpaper and scuff up the wall a little bit. And fast forward. Uh, of course, with uh, my, my two little helpers, uh, just so that the, the primer that I was going to put on it, which is right there, would stick to the wall before I put on my coats of paint. So that's uh, what it looked like after the primer, and I, actually, and I painted the ceiling too uh, at that point. It looks tan, but it's actually a, a softer gray color. And I bagged the lighting fixture, the only thing that will be staying. And... Uh, there's just me cut, cutting in around the ceiling line. And I, even though I taped up everything, it still bled. So um, I ended up having to redo like touch ups of that, which is always great fun. And also, I, when I was sorting through all my painting supplies, especially when I did the playroom, I found a, I guess a tool to help you cut in at the ceiling, and I had forgotten all about that, and I love it. It was great. Uh, I didn't have to tape off. It just has a painting pad on it, and it has two little wheels, and you roll it along the wall and the wheels go across the ceiling and it makes a nice sharp line and it was perfect. So here's me just 
cutting the paint. Um, I'm not really concerned around the trim. I didn't tape it off or anything because I will be painting the trim. I have not yet done that, but um, but that is coming. I'll I'll paint up all the trim and, and give it a nice coat of white. But uh, so I wasn't going for exact, just good enough at this point. So. And I work so quickly when I'm in fast forward. And I think right here I make a mistake or do something because I make a weird face. <laughs> yep, and that's the finished product. Uh, yep, just great. It looks really dark there, but it's not. It's not that dark of a, a, a gray. And at times you can see where it looks a little bit lighter. And then the next room I'll show you is the playroom. Just kind of a muted gray color, or not gray, sorry, muted lavender. And all the toys are kind of in the middle, and I had to move it around. But, um, oh, just a fresh cup. That was it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.